How's it going guys? It's Rude Junkie here. Today's video is going to be once again on the Amazon Prime Blue R1 HD. Um, excellent device and we're going to be showing you guys how to firmware restore this device. So maybe you bricked it, maybe you removed the ads and blocked the OTA updates and you want to bring it back to stock so you can send it back in for warranty or send it back to Amazon for some reason. Um, basically this is what this is going to do. This tool we're going to use today and the firmware that I've pulled will completely restore this device. So just so you guys know, show you what I'm on. Um, I have blocked the ads on this current device right here. And the firmware that it's going to flash is this firmware right here. Unless I upload some new ones, it might be different, but it's the uh, custom build version or V6.4. Okay. So that's what we're going to be restoring to this device. Now, if you're on a different build, it actually should downgrade you or upgrade you or whatever to this version if you flash it. So just be aware of that. Um, so that's basically what I've got on the phone. Um, like you said here, I'll show you. So lock screen you can see has no ads anymore on it. You can see no ads. So that's what I've done on this phone. But basically we're gonna go ahead and download some things to the computer and show you guys how to firmware restore, unbrick, unroot your Blue R1 HD. So let's go to my computer. All right guys, so here we go. This is again my site, rootjunkiesdl.com. And I'm in my uh, blue R1 HD Amazon folder. So once you're in here, just click on the firmware folder, and any new firmware that I pull will be in this folder. So you just go ahead and click on this, and then download this SP Flash Tool Blue Firmware Zip. This has everything you're going to need. It's got everything except, well, drivers. You may need SP Flash Tool type drivers, so that, that's the only other thing. But otherwise, the tools in there, all the firmware, the working scatter file, it's all involved. Um, here's some drivers if you might need them, so check those out if you're interested. All right, so besides that, let's go ahead and go to the folder. So here you go. Basically, you download the file, and when you extract it, you're going to be left with this right here. Open it up, and there's a good readme in here for some good information. Go ahead and read that. And then in here is your firmware. I've pulled every image from the device and put it here. Um, every partition and then here is your scatter file for the device as well so basically what you do is you go into flash tools um, and then you click on flash tool exe and it, don't worry if you get an error like that just just put it over here and then go ahead make sure it's on download only just exactly like it is go ahead and load scatter and you're just gonna scroll to the firmware then load the scatter file and you can see it will flash all of these partitions now I've tested all these partitions this flash does fully function correctly I've not tested other partitions the scatter file should be good but I just haven't tested them so but everything here that's pre-checked and ready to go is tested and functional so from here we're just gonna go ahead and click download and once the device loads or links in preloader it will start to download so to do that come over to the device here which is actually off Let's turn it on. And actually, we're actually going to power it down. So if it's on, it's fine. Just If it's in a boot loop or something, just power it off. Okay. Then go ahead, and once it's powered off, go ahead and plug in your cable. If you plug it in while it's powering off, it might start to flash off also, just, just so you know. You can start it that way as well. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And then normally what happens is it'll show you like battery charging or something like that. If you're in a boot loop, it may not. It may just boot up. But like, see, I've got a battery symbol right here. So once that happens and then you get like your charging animation goes away, then you can just hold down your power button just for a second so that what will happen is then it will boot in to start the boot up process and boot into preloader so that the flash will start on our computer. So let's go ahead and hold power at this point just for a second. And there you go, let go of it. And you can see that it says download DA 100%. That means it's in preloader mode. Um, so we're just waiting for these flash to start. All right, so if you get this error, that's not a, it's not a huge issue. Just unplug it, plug it back in. And I think I held the power button a little too long. I think that was my problem. Um, so again, just wait for it to go through. Actually, I'm gonna hold it for a second. So one, two, three, if you see a flash or anything, four, yeah, it's still not doing it. So basically you wanna be watching that icon up there on top. Let's let this finish. 
Also, good battery percentage is good. You don't want to be below like 50% if you're doing this. You just just be good. So if you see a battery flash up there at the top, let go of the power button. So just one, two, three, yep, let go right there. That should be enough. Well, it might be good to put it into download mode. You gotta push the download button before you, uh, you know, before you start the process. Otherwise, it'll just boot up like mine did. <laughs> but basically, look for the flashing red LED um, from Power Up. That is the best way to know when you'll boot into preloader. I'm just going to do it in power off mode because it's easier. So just power off. If your device is plugged in and you have your download mo started over here on the file, you just power off and it'll do the same thing. So once it powers off, it'll load preloader and it'll start the flash. This is easier because then you don't have to like time buttons and watch for flashing. So right there, you actually saw it flash. That means it's in, in preloader. So here we go. The flash is starting finally officially. Um, this flash is going to take you five minutes approximately. So I'm going to pause here and we'll come back to it as soon as the flash has completed and show you that we're firmware restored. So on my computer, you can see it took about three minutes and 20 seconds, 10 seconds, three minutes and 10 seconds, pretty much to complete the flash. So we can close this out. You can close this out as well. You're actually done on the computer at this point. And over here on the device, we're just going to go ahead and unplug the cable because the flash has completed. And there's a couple things you can do. So one thing I want to point out about the device at this point is that you're flash, but I did not flash user data. So um, if you're stuck in a boot loop after this, you're going to need to wipe data factory set in stock recovery. And I'm actually going to do that right now, just show you how to do it. So the way to do that is at this point, you've unplugged the cable, just hold volume up and power. This is going to boot you into uh, boot mode or boot menu mode, I guess. Um, and then we're going to select recovery. We're going to wipe data factory set in recovery and then we'll be good. So if you scroll to the very top one, it says recovery. You scroll up and down, volume up and down, and then you hit power. And this is going to boot up stock recovery because we just flashed stock recovery to it. So that was part of the firmware restore. So if you had Torp recovery installed, you know, it's gone. It's that we did all the firmware restore. We unbricked it, right? So um, we're going to boot into recovery. So there's recovery. Now to get into recovery here, just hold volume up and then tap power or hold power and tap volume up. Yeah, that's it. Hold power and tap volume up. So you're just going to scroll down with volume keys down to right here, wipe data factory reset, select it with power, scroll down to yes, delete all user data. And there we go. Now you have officially deleted all of the system data too. So now this, this uh, is kind of optional. If you have issues where the device boot loops after the first flash with SP flash tool, then you want to do this, or if you just want to get a complete clean slate, do this. So either way, so just so you know, this optional step. So then uh, hit reboot system now. But if you like bricked your device and you don't want to lose all your stuff on your device, don't do this part and just do the firmware restore, the unbrick with SP flash tool, and you might still be able to save all of your user data, which would be nice if you're keeping the phone. So anyway, just wanted to show you how to do that. Um, and how that functions as well. So now we're just waiting for it to boot up. So first boot up um, does take a little longer than normal. We're talking probably hmm, around five minutes, normally less, probably like three. But you give it like five to 10. If it doesn't work after five to 10, you probably need to wipe data factory, reset the device, or try running the flash tool again. Maybe something went wrong. So just so you guys are aware, let's let this thing boot up and I'll just show you that we are completely restored. Um, also, just so you know, um, like I said, this does restore um, ads to the lock screen. It does restore all this stuff. Everything's completely back to stock. The only thing that, that isn't changed is if you unlock the bootloader, the bootloader will still be unlocked. So that doesn't change that status. Um, but all the stock firmware is there. OTA updates will work again. Um, anything you might have messed with has been fully restored to the device. All right, there you go. That is official boot up, right? So it's sometimes a little laggy on first start here. So let me, there we go. All right, you got to go through the setup wizard just like before and completely set up the device and you'll be back and running your blue R1 HD. All right, guys, that's where I'm going to wrap it up from here. Um, hope you've liked this video. Definitely, if you want to remove the ads, unlike the bootloader, Torp Recovery, Root Access, I have all those videos. You guys can check those out. They're really cool. Um, definitely a ton of coverage for this device. I just, it's fun to tinker with this stuff and I enjoy it. So 
definitely check those out. I'll probably do more videos on this if you got anything you want me to do or show you how to do like a ROM install, a custom ROM install, if we ever get those kind of developments happening on this device. Not yet, it's kind of new. But I'll, I'll definitely do those kind of videos as well. Uh, hit me up and comment below. And that's going to wrap it up. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Great Junkie out.